Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a faves and flops from all of the products that I have purchased during quarantine. This was going to be like an April favorites video, but I also wanted to talk about the things that I don't like as much. And then I realized that I have products in here that I bought a little bit prior to April and of March to be specific. So this is everything I've bought during quarantine pretty much that I have loved and um, kind of hate it, you know? <laughs> so with that said, I hope you guys are excited for this video. If you are, don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you leave. Subscribe to my channel if you you haven't yet it would be greatly appreciated ring the bell so that you get notified every time that I upload and with that said let's go ahead and get started I've never done a faves and flops before personally because I just do a random favorites video every once in a while but I definitely wanted to mention some of the things that just definitely didn't work for me of course I have let you know about these things in the videos where I talk about them but this is just kind of a little bit of a quarantine makeup roundup and because I want to finish in a positive note I'm going to start by the flops so let's get started flop number one is going to come to no surprise to anyone because I've been very vocal about how shitty these are um, so these are the pastel collection by Huda Beauty absolutely atrocious I don't know what happened what the mistake was but these which is not good. If you guys want to know in detail all of the reasons why I think that, check out both of the videos I've uploaded on this collection. I tried it and then I gave it a second chance just in case I have made a mistake. Um, so you guys can see those videos and see how these eyeshadows perform um, and just form your own opinions on there. So I'm not going to go into a lot of depth on these, but they're just not that great. My second flop is this right here. This is the Tarte Maracuja Tinted Hydrator. This right over here is a tinted moisturizer with no coverage that enhances my pores like no other. So um, needless to say, it was definitely a flop. I did not like this. Even though I prefer tinted hydrators with a medium coverage, I can use a light coverage one. However, this one just made my pores look weird. You could see every pore, you could see every little bit of texture on my face. It made it look worse than with no makeup on. So um, definitely a flop. I wouldn't recommend it unless you have like absolutely perfect skin. And even if that's you, there's better things out there. So I still wouldn't recommend it. And last but not least, we have this here. This is the Kosas Concealer that came out not too long ago. I double checked on this because mine was so yellow and I'm like, maybe I ordered the wrong color. I usually go for neutral concealers. Um, this one said neutral, but it is so yellow. Um, I can't wear this because it's so yellow and I also don't love the coverage. I feel like it makes my under eyes look a little bit textury as well. Just not for me overall. I really wanted to love this, but it just, I don't know. I'm very particular with concealers. I do have to say that. There is very few that I'm absolutely obsessed with. And this one just didn't impress me. And now let's go ahead and move on to my faves that I have tried recently. Right before quarantine started, I went to the drugstore and purchased a bunch of drugstore products and there have been some hits that came out of there. So let's talk about those. This right over here is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Last Longwear Eye Pencil in the color Burgundy. I have been using this one for a lot of my eye looks and I really like it. It goes nicely on my waterline. I don't find that it smears too much. It doesn't last forever, but for the price, it's really good and it lasts quite a while. So this one was definitely a hit and I have been using it a ton. In that same haul, I also bought the e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer. And I really like this one. I bought it in fair beige and I feel like it's a bit too light for me. I wish I would have gone for a shade up from here. But even though it's pretty light, I have definitely still been using it and I really, really like it. The formula is very nice. It's hydrating. It doesn't weight down my under eye area. It doesn't suck the life out of me. If you have dry skin and you're looking for a pretty affordable concealer, I definitely recommend this e.l.f. one. I really loved it. Then we have this right here. This is the Wet n Wild Hello Halo. It is a blush and a highlighter. Now I like 50% of this product right here because my favorite thing about it is definitely the blush 
side of it there's nothing horrible about the highlighter it's pretty blinding it has a lot a lot of pigmentation I just don't prefer it for myself because I feel like it kind of enhances some of the texture on my skin however the blush is dreamy I really really love the blush it has the best peachy glow to your face it has the most beautiful sheen to it it is perfect for this time of year so this is worth it in my opinion just for that blush part again nothing wrong with the highlighter I liked it I just didn't love it and I did love the blush and then last but not least from my drugstore haul this right over here this is my morphe luminous setting spray i have been using this one a ton and look i'm very proud of myself because it's still only by here i have been trying to spray less <laughs> because this makes my face pretty pretty dewy i am wearing it right now and i love it i think it makes my makeup last longer and i really love the luminous finish that this one has and it has a very fine mist and i really love it it's good for the price too it's, I have no complaints. This is a favorite right here. <laughs> Let's get into some eyeshadow because even though these right here were a disappointment, I have some eyeshadows that I've tried lately that I absolutely loved. Let's start by this little palette right here. This is the Natasha Denona Mini Retro Palette and this one is so cute. I definitely love the two shimmery colors right here at the front the most and this transition shade right here is absolutely beautiful i wish the green was a little bit more olive looking on me it definitely looks a little bit more gray rather than olive so that is kind of like my only complaint a little bit more olive would have been perfect but regardless of that this palette right here has an incredible formula if you are into little palettes something simple that's not going to overwhelm you with options i really really love this one I also tried my first ever Visi Art palette and this was the Spritz Edit palette that came out very recently. This palette right here is absolutely perfect for the season, spring and summer friendly for sure. I really loved the pigment, the blendability, everything about this palette was absolute perfection. And I'm really excited that I finally tried the Visi Art formula because I can't wait to try more. If you have been looking for something like this or if you're into peachy summery shades, I definitely recommend that you check this one out because you won't regret getting it. One of my absolute favorite things that has come out recently is this little thing right here. This is the Patrick Ta Brow Wax and I love this. This makes my eyebrows look fluffy, it makes them stick to my skin, it makes my hairs look nice and like upright rather than upside down, which is how they like to grow. If you haven't gotten your hands on this Patrick Ta Wax yet, I definitely recommend that you do. Last time I checked, I think both colors are now sold out, but as soon as it comes back in stock, grab this because you are going to love it, especially if you're into the fluffy eyebrow look. From Kaja's new release, I love absolutely everything as well. I have the glowy stamp and the beachy stamps right here. I have used this now, I don't know, three to four times, I think, and I really like every time I use them. I still wish that the highlighter was a little bit more impactful, but it gives you the most beautiful dew to your skin without it being shimmery. And I think that a lot of you will like that if you have trouble with highlighter giving you um, texture, if you have lines around your eyes, you are going to really like this. And it just has such a cute packaging with the little stamp and all. It's very fun to play with and have, so I like these as well. The gloss that came with that collection, the Vacay Shine Gloss Oil, I have also been loving. In fact, I have a little bit on right now on top of my lipstick. And this one right here, I realized, is the cheapest gloss oil because my other two favorites, the NARS and the Kosas one, are a lot more expensive. I feel like this one's like 16, the other ones are like 23, 24. So pretty affordable, nice bronzy shade. If you're looking for a gloss for summer, I love this one. Of course, these had to be included in my favorites right here. I know that I tried these like literally last week at some point, but I have used them now like three to four times and I really, really like them, especially the bronzer. I have the bronzer in Butter Biscuit, which is the second color. 
I absolutely love the way this color looks on my skin. I think it is a perfect bronzer color for me. I've used it with brushes and with sponges. It goes on really nicely with everything. I don't have any problem with it wearing off. I don't have any problem with it fading away. It wears for a very long time on me. It's non-drying, it's not sticky. I absolutely love this. And I totally recommend it. If you've been wondering about Fenty's new bronzer or if you've been wondering about a cream bronzer in general, these right here are definitely worth it. The blush is still a recent fave even though I don't love it as much as the bronzer just because I feel more comfortable putting powders on the apples of my cheeks. Don't ask me why. I think it's something about the texture. I literally have no complaints about this blush. It performs amazingly. But I still rather use a powder than a cream for some reason. However, if you're into cream blushes, this one here is fantastic. Last but definitely not least is what's on my eyes right now. This is not a new product, but it is new to me. And it is the Pat McGrath Mothership Palette in number 5. I am working on my 5 looks 1 palette with this one. And this eye look right here is going to be included in that. So wait for it. I think this has definitely been my most exciting purchase out of the bunch just because it's such a luxurious, high-end, expensive item, right? <laughs> and also my first Mothership palette ever. I'm in love with this. I have only used it twice, but it does not disappoint. I think the only thing I've learned so far about this one is that you have to remember that less is more. Start with a little bit and build it up from there because she is pigmented. She is very, very pigmented. No complaints from me though, that's definitely my preferred way of applying makeup, building it up, but you have to be careful <laughs> and use very soft brushes with it. I absolutely love this one. I already can't wait to get my hands on a different one of these, but for now I'm working on my 5 looks one palette with this one, which I am so excited about. And I think that brings us to the end of this faves and flops video right here. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I know some of these are very recent purchases, but it honestly doesn't take me long to realize whether or not I like a product. I definitely, in most cases, know the first time I try it or the first time I wear it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to tell you what's on my lips before you ask. I know you were going to ask. I have the Iconic Nude Lip Liner by Charlotte Tilbury on, and then I have this Milk Lipstick right here. This is in the color skills it is just a very beautiful nudie shade i really liked it and then on top of it like i mentioned before some kaja lip gloss so this is the lip combo for the day and on my eyes like i said the pat mcgrath palette this look will be coming soon on my eyes, besides the Pat McGrath palette, of course, we have some Alter Ego lashes. The ones that I put on are called Posh, and I really like them because they kind of look wispy. They sent over a bunch, which I'm super grateful for. These, um, they sell for $5 each. I think the styles Flare and Celeb, which I'm showing you right here, are definitely going to be some of my favorite. They sell these for only $5 if you guys are interested. So far from just putting them on, I think I really like them. The hairs look very, very thin on the tips, which makes them look wispy, which I really like. I believe I still have a discount code with them from when they sent me a palette a while ago. Um, so I'm going to put that down below. It might just be Patty. But I'm going to leave it down below in case you guys are interested in getting yourself some new fun lashes. Okay, I am done with this video. If you guys want to see any up-close pictures of makeup looks, don't forget to follow my Instagram at Patty C. Alonso. This one right over here. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you leave. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And I hope to see you back in the next video. Bye!